Chase Matthews seems to be on a trajectory in country music. With his major label debut album, Come Get Your Memory, Matthew looks to take his place as a true rising star. He sat down with the Nash News to talk about his new project, songwriting, and much more. Before we hear more about Chase Matthews' new record, be sure to subscribe to our channel and give it a thumbs up for more country music news and entertainment. Matthew grew up with a foundation in the church. He shared how his faith and family made him who he is today. It's kind of all I've ever known. Uh, I was raised in church and kind of like got my start playing in the youth band, playing drums. And uh, it's kind of been, you know, really wild to see how it's all turned into what it is. And uh, my uh, my grandparents kind of put me in a position to where I realized, hey, like if I just hold my face strong into doing like towards my dreams, you know, God will put me where I'm supposed to be. So it's really cool because to see where it all started and seeing where it is now is just it's just tenfold what I expected. So the singer discusses the perspective he has being from Music City. It's hard to know because it's all again, it's all I've ever known is Nashville. But um, I definitely think it's kind of crazy to, to realize how many talented people are here that are actually from here. They don't realize what they have at their fingertips. You know, mm-hmm. uh, Music City is is such a blessing to uh, to the music industry and and. Um, you know, so many people move here to chase those dreams. And uh, I'm just really grateful to be able to call it home. Matthew touches on the success he found from his single County Line and why it became successful. I think we've all been there. Uh, you know, <laughs> there's, there's a time where sometimes you feel like, man, just like mind your business once you part ways with, with that person, you know, and it doesn't even have to be in a, a relationship. It could be in a friendship. It could be in anything. And, and you know, stay on your side of that County Line. It's crazy because uh, that song, I solo wrote that song and, um, about a, a real a real situation I was in. And uh, it's just so many people resonated with it. It blew up on TikTok and then turned into huge streaming numbers and huge views. And it's brought me here today. Matthew discusses his vision of the 25 song album and where he finds inspiration when songwriting. So Come Get Your Memory is, is it's the title track on the album. And I remember when I wrote it, I wrote it with Casey Brown and Jordan Minton. And those guys are so talented. I also wrote uh, with Casey Brown and Taylor Fields. We wrote Love You Again, uh, which is doing really good right now. And uh, those guys, man, they they are workhorses. And I, re- I remember the first time I heard it, I was like, yo, this is crazy. And I started thinking, man, like I knew I was going to put a new album out. So mm-hmm. I was trying to figure out what am I going to call it? And it's kind of a long title. But the thing is, you can name a tour around it. People people have been there. You know, it's it's one of the things where you see something around and and uh, sometimes it's hard to get rid of it. It's, it's like it's always there, you know. The singer shared how he met some of his famous co-writers and why he tried to stay away from outside cuts. I met Taylor Phillips. He's an awesome writer um, in town this year. And, and we wrote a, an incredible hit end of last year, actually, uh, was when we met. And he has introduced me to so many people and given me so many opportunities. And Taylor actually pitched me a couple songs. And I've always been a critic. I, I like for like, I never wanted to cut outside songs. I was always really stubborn about that. And uh, they, they changed my outlook on it really. Um, a few songs that got pitched to me and, you know, they were like, Hey, like, you know, we know this isn't your cup of tea, but if you want to cut these, you can. And I fell in love with all of these songs and I had a great opportunity to meet Hardy and uh, me and Ernest kind of already knew each other. And um, I met Ashley Gorley as well. And Hunter Phelps, I look up to those guys and I met them at the ACMs and we just cut it up and talked about it and told him, I was like, man, thank you all for these opportunities. It's going to be a big year and I'll make sure these songs live to their fullest. Matthew will always stay true to himself and he shares why. He also says what he hopes fans will learn from his music. One thing that people should always know is I'm always going to be myself. I'm always going to be genuine. I really don't give a shit what anybody says, but <laughs> I'm always going to be myself. And, uh, you know, if there's anything you should leave the album, remembering is just remembering that, Music brings people together, and if there's any way that I could help with that, I just, I don't know, I just hope people relate to it, you know, and there's something for everybody on there, too. There's there's songs about heartbreak, which wouldn't be country music without it, but there's songs about ups and downs, there's songs about inspirational things, and and even life stories for me, there's a song called Saw Me Here that uh, is a really, really, it's it's, it's proof of turning nothing into something, and, and I'm just really proud of that one too. That's that's an awesome song. Matthew shares possible touring plans for the coming months. We're doing a lot of touring. We're going to announce some more dates here soon. Uh, we're adding tons of dates right now. Uh, the Love You Again tour just ended, but we're talking about potentially adding more dates. So we'll see. You got the spoiler alert on that one. Our shows are incredible. I I, I put a lot of my 
my time and, and mind towards how can I make my performances better and more creative and people engage more with them. And Well, that's the end of our video. Please be sure to like and subscribe so you never miss the latest country music news and entertainment.